we go straight to the 25th minute in this illegal streaming of the EFL Cup game and Sparky is in on goal. You bastard. That would have shut these rowing tossers up straight away. Nice one Flanagan. Give it straight back to the opposition. The angry crabs have an attack and are running at us faster than Josh Madger's agent running after a five pound note floating around in the wind. I'm supposed to be shocked to see that McLaughlin had left his man with acres of space. Oh bloody hell. Victoria Beckham has more chance of rescuing her singing career than Big John had of saving that. We hit back before half time with some decent footy. Sparky is put through by a defender, but lays it back to Max. You useless imbecile. Stay there whilst I come and kick you up the ass. Phil is having second thoughts about coming to this club. On to the second half and here is Max, trying his best to go for an early bath. Thankfully John saves the shot. Deep into the second half and we equalize. The legend that is Jack Ross will be so proud of this scoreline. We continue to pile on the pressure towards the end of the match to avoid a shootout. Finally, a bit of decent play down this right hand side. The ball finds Sparky, but he appears to have taken aim at the man in blue. It's all Sunderland now. Surely we can go on to win this? Nobody wants it to go to penalties, because we are so shite at them. Here's 09. Greg gives it back. Penalty. Nope. The ref has got a tenner on Oxford to qualify tonight. It's 2-2 in the shootout and up steps Michael Gray who appears to have sent that ball into outer space. We are never seeing that again. Up steps the Oxford player to put them in front. Bollocks. It's not over yet. Here's McNulty to save the day. Just put it high in the top corner and we are back in this. The fat man who manages Oxford seems more nervous than me. Here we go. Oh for Christ's sake. You effing cockumble. I know some double amputees who can kick a ball harder than that. Our dream is over as we go out of the cup. Wondering just one thing. Where did Griggs ball end up?